Hey guys, real quick before we start this video, I just wanted to uh, let you know that we uh, purposely cut a lot of details out of this this uh, drilling video. Uh, there are a lot of safe drilling videos online already, um, and uh, a lot of them are just drilling a hole and showing you what jigs they use and what bits to use and stuff like that. I don't want to get into that much detail. We're just going to show you this video. Uh, he drills a hole. We're not going to share any measurements. We're not going to share exactly what techniques he's using. You will get to see a little bit of the lock body moving on the inside, but without a ton of other knowledge and a ton of other experiences, uh, this is not going to help anybody that doesn't know what they're doing getting in a safe. But I did think it's interesting and want to show you uh, a little bit of what it looks like when you see a safe cracker you know, doing his job. Hey guys, it's Uriah with Guardian Safe and Lock. Uh, today we're going to do a uh, a little bit different video. Uh, we're going to be going and getting into a uh, TL15 safe. Anybody who knows anything about safes, any TL rated safe is a pain in the butt to get into. So I got my uh, safe specialist um, going to meet me on site in, uh, in the Woodlands, Texas. We're going to drill open this TL15 safe and uh, basically after we drill and get into it, then we could unbolt it and he just wants us to remove it. So. Uh, we'll actually take the TL-15 back, repair it, and use it as a, a training safe or something along the lines of that. Uh, so I'm going to go meet my uh, safe tech right now out there, and we're going to uh, walk you through the step and show you a little bit of the uh, process of getting into a safe, especially a TL-15 safe. Those are rare, so uh, this one should be a treat for you. And if you haven't noticed, the picture-in-picture -picture and things that you're seeing right now, this is on our new uh, 4K recorder that we've got. So. Hopefully the quality is better for you, and hopefully also the sound is better for you since we'll be using a better mic these, uh, for this particular video. But uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll keep you updated. Okay, so we're on site at the, uh, at the TL-15 that we're trying to get into. I've uh, got Meisel here helping me uh, get into it. And uh, he's gonna try a couple different processes and see what works the best, and then uh, we'll show you the process as we do it. All right, so we're at the TL-15. This is the uh, the safe that we're gonna be uh, getting into. Uh, Meisel's gonna basically um, try a couple different methods. Uh, what's the first method you're gonna try? So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna drill on top. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the change key hole, the, the hole that we use to change the combination of the safe. We're gonna utilize that to open the safe without having to actually damage the lock or damage the front of the door. All we got to do is just patch the top and okay. the integrity of the safe still remains intact. Gotcha. And what makes a TL-15 special? TL-15 uh, usually has got a hard, a ball bearing hard plate, which is uh, like a quarter inch plate and nothing but stainless steel ball bearings packed. So whenever you drill it with any kind of drill bit, you know, the ball bearing just spins, it'll break your tips. It's just a nightmare. You'd have to use a very special diamond tip drill bit that's kind of like a deburr, if you will, and it just eats away the stainless steel ball bearing. Once you eat away at it and pull it out, then you continue going with your regular standard uh, tungsten drill bit. But to avoid all that, we're trying the uh, the top the top hole first. All right. It's a little loud in here. We're in a construction site, so we're wearing the hard hat. So bear with the noise.
Alright, I got it with one. So I'm trying to clean out the fireproofing, which is more like a concrete mix. It's got little pebbles in it. And the pebbles like to mess up regular drill bits. Um, so I'm trying to clean that area up uh, so I can go through the actual safe and into the door to get what I'm trying to get to. Okay. Just a side note here is that uh, we get into saves, but not at a level of what, what uh, Miss Al is able to do. So um, I've known Miss Al for probably I don't know, probably dang, probably a good 14, 14 years or so now. Time flies, but uh, every time we've got a, a safe we can handle, which is yeah, often we, we call Miss Ayala out and he helps us get into it. He's a good friend. So I um, figured this would be a good time to make a, a video for you because it's kind of rare to get into these. At least on our end, it's rare to get into these. So after scoping the hole, we determine we're going to have to go deeper. This is just, that's what he's getting out right now, the scope, so. Hey, Gary! That's a nice one, man. It's better than ours. <laughs> Probably a little cheap one. How much is that one? Uh, a couple hundred? Oh, that's not bad. Yep, yeah, I'm watching. There's a lock. That's the actual safe lock. Yep. Now what I need to do is I need to go back there. Okay. So my hole is is is, is right here. Mm -hmm. So I need to make that hole on the opposite back, side of it. Just okay. a little further back that way, which here translates to over here. Gotcha. I'm gonna see if maybe I can. There's no way I can turn that thing in. No. And there is the ball bearing plate. So you can see, mm -hmm. oh yeah, right there is a spindle. Yep, this guy. Mm -hmm. Kind of see a spin a little bit. See that? Yep, there's a spindle. That's the spindle. This is the mounting plate for the actual lock, and that right there is the bad boy that I'm trying to evade. The hard wanna... seal plate. Yeah, yeah, that's well, that's actually the, the ball bearing plate. Oh, ball bearing. Plate. Yeah, that's that's the one that costs a lot of money to build, so I don't want to have to go that route. Yeah, but so I'm gonna make another hole. Okay, go for the make another hole, scope it out. Gotcha. All right, so this is round two, next hole. Usually I don't like getting to a second hole. If I could do it in one hole, it's great. But sometimes, like right now, I misjudged the depth, and that's why I'm off by pretty much an inch. Oh, 
Those are the relockers right there. That's one. There's a second relocker up there. Oh, yeah, I see it. But I'm still, I'm still not, not where I need to be at. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah. That is over here. Okay. Okay. Down the handle, you can actually see it more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I see. Okay, so I need to get. Yeah. One more. One more hole. One more hole. All right. So that's the third hole we're making here, or he's making here. Just to get the right spot. So Should have never got this far. But I never got this far, but get out. Smell. Yeah. <laughs> it gets real hot. All right, now you're there. There's the hole. Yep, that's the so that's thing. the hole that he's trying to scope is right there. My thumb is right. Yep, that's it. The view. Did you snap a picture of that? No, I just changed the view. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Got a 90 degree. Camera. Oh, that little visor on the front. Yeah. There's the hole. Second spot too once you get it there. There it is. There it is. So that is what he's looking at. He's trying to read the wheels.
There's a pump. Alright, so we're gonna spin, 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 spin. Yep. Clear yeah, there it is, right there you saw it? Yep. Okay, so there it is. There's the spin pull. Right. There she is. That's uh, the change. 82. 82? Yep. Give or take 82. Here I was born, no problem, got it. I'm gonna ride up a sec. Cool? Yeah. Now what's left? Keep going. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it to where oh, don't lose it. Don't. Pivot. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to hold this thing steady too. Coming down the legs. God damn it. It's all reverse handle. Oh, it takes a lot of patience and skill. Man, I had it right now, dude. Oh. One more number. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to get this camera situated up there, but.
Those gaps right there, he's trying to line up so that the fence can drop in and pull it over like a like any other manual safe dial. But you're having to do this backwards on top of the pack, right? Which makes it even more challenging. Because he's looking at it from the other side, so I'm trying not to say much so I got him focus. Oh. 
Good job. Yep. Nice. Good job. Good job, man. That's a hell of a that's a hell of a drill right there. Oh my god. Okay, so Some skill. Awesome. It's right. like math, perseverance. Should have taken one hole, but it took three. <laughs> well, I'm not complaining. It might have took me 20. But anyway. Okay, well, thanks for following along today on the uh, the drilling out of the TL-15 safe. We uh, packed it all up. Um, we actually, after Masayo left, me and one of the uh, techs went back, or went, two of my techs went back and picked up the TL-15 safe, and that's what we have right here. We brought it along back to our shop. Uh, the customer didn't want it. We knew that from the outset. He actually paid us to haul it away, and we told him we were going to take it back to the shop, and we could use it for training purposes or even repair it and use it for our own purposes. But uh, because of the... Uh, the way that he got into it, the holes being drilled and scoping through the, the change keyhole, um, we can replicate that here in the shop and use that for training with the scope because when you're, when you're trying to decipher the code, you're looking at it from this way and you're, you're doing everything opposite because when you're clearing each wheel, you're looking at it from the other side through the hole. So you have to not only reverse it in your head when you're decoding it, but you also have to be able to view it and then take a certain amount of degrees off so that you have it in the right spot. So it's just kind of complicated when you're reading the wheels, it takes a lot of practice. So I figured we'd take it back here and use it. This thing probably weighs 600 pounds. It doesn't look like it, but it's super heavy. Um, the customer ironically called us out to drill in the safe so that we can move it because uh, he thought it was bolted down and we got there, drilled in, got it open, and then it wasn't bolted down. So uh, they didn't really even need to pay us to get into it at that point, but we got it. We got a free safe out of it. Uh, and we can use it for practicing. So we may make some videos on how to scope uh, the safe dial and, and decipher codes through through using a scope. Um, but thanks for following along. If you uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and then hit the like button, we appreciate the support. And we're on all your social media platforms. That's LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We're on all of them. And uh, we really appreciate the support.